Hi YouTube, this is Cameron Simpson from the Trades 101. I'm not a financial advisor or a broker. This is for entertainment purposes only. So, um, we're gonna jump in uh, to right into this. Uh, let's discuss what we are doing. Let's check out Webull as the platform I'm using for uh, today. And uh, what we're gonna be discussing is uh, LPEN, ticker symbol. LPEN, which is Loop Energy versus Ballard Industries. This is hydrogen fuel cells we're discussing today. And we're gonna start with Loop Energy. Okay, I got this on the five minute chart today because they don't trade as much volume as most stocks do out there. They're a smaller company, okay? They did, I don't even know tell you how, they only did a 5.3% exchange today in their shares. As you can see, if I put this on the one minute chart, we are gonna get sporadic information that is hard to decipher. So we're gonna put this up to the 30. That's more like it. Okay, so today Loop Energy did not bad, okay? Loop Energy did start at $17. It's not even on that chart, but I've been watching $17.44. I've been watching this for a while, okay? It's only, I think, four months old, um, this hydrogen company fuel cell company and yeah seventeen dollars and thirty six cents when they opened they wanted to hold that I shook my head I knew the market would find the price for them I like this stock I'm going to buy it and hopefully it um, I would like to pay seven dollars for it I feel more comfortable paying seven it's at 1095 right now is positive 1.30 percent today in the green okay so this stock does do wave action okay it does it does more down than up okay um, this is not the stock to make money this is the stock to hold long to make money okay there's no paper hands on this like it's not gonna work for you I'm giving you a heads up on that okay um, <clears throat> This stock will guaranteed in the next year or so when um, they merge with, um, this is a Canadian stock, by the way. Um, it's, out of, uh, it's out of British Columbia, Canada. And uh, the, when this stock emerges with one of our, um, one of our traveling sectors, like uh, transit sectors or something like that, they have fuel cell um fuel cells that can power and compatible with a diesel engine this uh loop industries i've been following them for a while i know quite a bit of information on them um they're they're a pretty good company um i've spoke to a couple employees they like working there so that's a bonus too um they they have um some new technology out um with their um hydrogen uh, fuel energy cells um it's uh it's uh, pretty good stuff. Okay, so um, the line of resistance here is $11.08. It tested it, it would not hold it. It drove it back down. It retested that at 11.02. Okay, this is gonna, this is this stock will go up 5, 10% and go down. Okay, like I said, this is a long stock. Um, I, I can see this sitting at, in, the, in the $20 to $30 range easy in the next couple of years. Um, and, and and hopefully they're going to be paid in dividend by then. Um, so yeah, that's all the information I have on that. I, I'm covering two ticker symbols today. So that's the first one. The second one is Ballard Industries. Ticker symbol B L D P. Okay, they're a British Columbia. They're out of uh, Burnaby. Okay, so. This company has a little bit of track record here. They've been out there one of the first. Uh, uh, hydrogen p uh, power fuel cells out there okay they were one of the first this stock has changed uh, traded up in the 30 40 dollar range um, this stock is a little bit more expensive it has track record it, it floats up and down in between the 20 it's um i would say it's a more safer stock you're i would say you're gambling less on this one um just because there's more of a track record um they do trade low volume too most canadian stocks do um so uh, that's why they fluctuate so f up and down. It, it uh, seriously is all on the volume on Canadian stocks. So they, they have all they traded today was overturned was 1.3%, uh, very low, especially for on a Thursday, okay? So I just wanted to, uh, after hours, uh, it did drop another, uh, it did drop another 0.40%. Uh, it closed out at 
$22.13 today, Ballard Indus Power Industries. Um, it did in the pre uh, in, in normal market hours, it was down 2.55%. Um, like I said, this is a good stock too. I just want to check some more information out here. If they're paying a dividend yield, no, they're not paying anything dividend. Dividend is a good thing to look up when you're buying a stock because you can double dip. I call it the double dip factor. Um, like most banks and um, well-established uh, companies will pay a dividend. Um, it depends on if it's quarterly, annually. There's a lot of contributing factors. You can usually find that information just on Google uh, search um, and it's pretty accurate. Okay, so the line of resistance for Ballard Industries, what they're testing, oh, it's tested it one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven times it's tested. Wow, it, it, it can't bust it. Uh, $22.25 was the line of resistance. The bottom end was at $22.03, okay? And uh, this, 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 uh, this stock right here, I you will see, yeah, we got it on the one minute, okay. Um, you will see a lot of wave action. We've got a W forming here. And uh, um, after hours, it doesn't really show on here as much as uh, we would like. Um, yeah, so it went down a buck 40. Yeah, so on this stock, I'd say I'm neutral. Uh, I'm definitely neutral on this. Um, I, I do need to make a decision. I, I know that. Um, I don't own in either one of these. Um, I need to make a decision. I need to invest. This is definitely a buy. A buy. I'm neutral on my decision right now, but I know I need to buy. It's a buy. Um, I'm, I don't know what I'm waiting for, actually. Probably just like you guys, you just don't know. But I just want to wait a couple more weeks and see how Loop does. Uh, it's too new. And hopefully they don't grab a big contract in the meantime because I'll be kicking myself in the you-know-what. So Wolfpack, thanks for joining us today for another podcast. Um, yeah, well, um, check out the Canadian economy here. Uh, not that I'm pushing stocks up here, but it's uh, they're they're easy to they're easy to make money on, and the volume's low. You um you don't have to worry about being crashed out, man. Like uh, yeah, it's it's pretty. It's our economy's doing pretty good now. Um, it's picking back up. So yeah, I just wanted to say if you want to make yourself ten dollars free stocks at the end, you can use Well Simple Trades. It's a dot com. It's a trading platform. There's a referral code down below from myself. It's my broker that I use, and you can you're welcome to use that to get yourself that ten dollars free cash. You can use it towards stocks, which I would do, but that's my opinion, not yours. Um, do your own diligence on anything I said tonight, and Wolf Pack. Keep it real, and I will see you here tomorrow. Have a good one.